Welcome to the first episode of the Chamber to Diamond series. In this series I try to reach diamond by only playing with chamber. And of course I try to give you guys tons of chamber tips and tricks. In this episode we'll be playing the first 5 placement matches. So let's hop into a game and let's see what rank we will get. Hello everyone. You're the real guy, my guy from YouTube. You're yeah. just a fakey. I'm a fakey, my friend. A big tip for everyone who first picks up chamber. Don't be greedy with your Q ability. Even though every shot you make costs 100 credits, don't be greedy with it. It's better to waste an extra shot than make a kill than do nothing at all. I made this mistake in the first round what the heck i didn't nice. see his head no no mr lowlander you saw his head you just were too greedy also if you ever plant a spike on b side behind the box don't run back without looking to ct like viper did Whoa, what did he do? Something that sometimes is useful is saving one trap for the retake. In this round, the enemies had control over elbow, so I placed my trap over there. Then I waited till the trap went off, and that's the moment when I peeked. Also, when you're about to peek something and you still have a teleporter left, place your teleporter just before you peek around the corner. This way, you have an easy way out if the enemy is shooting on you. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't have to use it this round. Then, a few rounds later, this happened. Dead! Oh, okay, I got that Ooh, one. Nice shot. Come then, peek again. Ah, let's go. What did he do? Ooh. I honestly thought that race was AFK here. Otherwise, I would never try to knife him. Kill that. Last one serious, last one serious. No way, space. Yeah, sad life. The ace curse, I guess. But what were the enemies doing? When you place the teleporter down with chamber, be careful with teleporting if you don't have control of the spot where you're teleporting to. Yeah, whoopsie. Wah! Oh no, I missed. In this round, I made a nice kill on Viper, but I was hesitating on shooting on race. This was because I wanted to make the perfect shot so I could save as much bullets and credits. But like I said before, never do this. Learn from my mistakes. Last player standing. Come then. I got him. Something I really like about Chamber is that when you make a kill with your ability, it just looks so good. Pardon, oh, oh! Nice one. one enemy okay! Remaining. When you are lurking, always listen very carefully. Here I hear two enemies walking through middle towards the vent room. Because I hear two enemies, there was a very small chance that one was still on B Heaven. Because of this knowledge, I was confident enough to push into vent room and make some nice kills. Hey, let's, let's go, Lurk OP. Not uh, too side, uh, side. Okay. Hey, let's go. And in the end, we won the game. Hi, good game, ah. my friends. Four more to go. Hello, everyone. When you're about to peek a long range angle with the chamber gun, just use your iron sights. Your scope got a small zoom that helps you from long ranges. I sadly didn't do that over here. Oh, what the f. Uh, honestly, walking out of bathroom by yourself without any utility is the hardest thing to do. You have to check too many angles, so I would recommend to walk all the way to short when you are alone. Aye, aye. Luckily, now in the second game, I learned not to be greedy with my shots. No worries to spend 600 credits on one kill. Wow, that was bad, but we got him. I didn't want to include this clip, but... Uh... Player standing. What? Oh my god, I'm so bad, sorry. Yeah, not everyone is perfect, my friends. Here I knew Sofa was in CT, but I waited till he was shooting on my teammate. That's the moment when I peeked. One enemy not remaining. So and if you're in a 1v2 situation like this, I would not recommend to push. However, my teammate called that race was only one hit, so I peeked, but still, it's a little bit risky. I would apologize to them. Race died over here because he didn't do the teleport trick properly. Rookie mistakes, my friends. Okay, so. let's don't do that today, race. Chamber is the king of holding off angles. The bad thing about off angles is that you often don't really have an escape. But with the chamber teleport, you can get away from every off angle. This one, for example. Hey. This might sound a bit strange, but if the enemy Yoru uses his ultimate and you spot him, try to follow him. This way you know exactly where he comes out his ultimate and then you can shoot on him before he can shoot on you. Very good. Took the spot. But sadly, Yoru TP'd all the way to A side. Luckily, at the start of the round, I put one teleporter in Lamps and one teleporter on B Cubby. With this setup, you can rotate insanely fast. And because of this, I won the round easy peasy. Planted. Too far. Got him, got him, got him. Hear a nice saying, if you mess up your spray, just teleport away. Whoa. 
In this round, I used another very overpowered chamber teleport trick. In the pre-round, place one side of the teleporter on top of this box. After that, make your way all the way to the B side and go to the teleporter. Then when you think the enemies are outside showers, use the teleport, place your teleporter down, make your kills and teleport to safety. Sounds very complicated, but it looks like this. Fire in the hole! And I'm back. Oh, got two kills even. You knew. Sorry. Yeah, in the end, it was an easy game. A good game, my friend. The game after that, we played Breeze and we got wrecked. So let's go to the fourth game. Hello, everyone. Even though you can teleport away almost instantly, don't make stupid pushes. <laughs> Here I knew there were three enemies on site, but I still pushed. Not very smart. I, I tip it. Them. So a few rounds later we decided to push C. I honestly thought the chamber ultimate would be accurate even though if you don't scope. Just like the marshal. But this is not the case. <laughs> what? Oh, I forgot. I, what did that? Ow. If you ever see a smoke like this, don't trust it, my friends. For sure that the enemy doesn't mess up his smoke that bad. He did it. He did it. He did it. I knew it. This feeling, man, this is the worst feeling in Valorant. What? With the budget operator? No. I honestly have no idea what rank we are playing on. I messed up so hard in this round, but I still got the kills. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Come then. Yes! One enemy What's happening? Okay. Another tip, even though you only see one enemy, I would still recommend to teleport away after you get a kill. There could always be a second enemy who is trying to go for the refrag. What the? What the? Okay, hear me out and let me know in the comments if you also have this problem. Sometimes you are looking so long to the same angle that you forget that you actually are looking to the angle. You just dream away with your thoughts and suddenly there's an enemy in front of you and your reaction time is very bad. I had that in this round. Okay, I was AFK but no worries. No, no, Mr. Lowlander, you were not AFK, your brain was AFK. Anyway, after this 1v1 clutch... Hey, good game, good game. We won this game easy peasy. Only one more, my friends. Let's go to the last one. Hello, everyone. Again, an example of why you always should check your corners. Oh, whoa. But uh, I messed up anyway. Honestly, I always thought the chamber teleport was instant. But here you see, I clicked on the teleport. I snipped my fingers, but I didn't teleport. I tp no. Remaining. Last player standing. In cube, in Wow. Yeah, sometimes the bullets just connect. Not much to say about it. However, this round, whoo, when you got control over A side, sometimes it's nice to flank all the way through showers. Most of the time, the enemies check showers for like one second and then they think, oh, it's clear. But when you are slowly are flanking, you come a little bit later and then you get behind them easy kills. One enemy remaining. Okay, oh, that was good. <laughs> that was good. In this round, I placed my teleporter in lamps, and when you do that, you can walk all the way to CT. You'll be in the teleporter's range, even though you are very deep. A nice one for some aggressive plays. Luckily, I didn't need to use it. One enemy remaining. Oh, he's got top. <laughs> Let's go. A good way to peek long with an operator is slowly walk to the left and keep your crosshair close to the wall. And once you see the enemy, beam. For the first round of the game, I like to buy 4 bullets and half armor. But maybe 2 traps and half armor is a little bit better, because the traps give a lot of information. Especially on the defending side. And after seeing this clip, the classic is OP anyway. What the? Uh, <laughs> what is <laughs> What rank is this? Also, don't forget to put your teleporter down if you have it. Even if it's just a small teleport like you see in the clip in the background, it still gets you away from nasty situations. Good enough. Hey. Yeah, that's how we do it, my friend. Oh. Oh. I... Spike down the OG viewers know that my favorite trick is the teleport trick. Throw something through the teleporter, the door will open and you can make some nice kills. Sadly, Chamber cannot do this trick. However, you can do something else. Place your E down into the lamps, then go through the teleporter, place your E in the teleporter, do the door open, make a kill and teleport back. Sounds complicated, but look how easy it is. 
Hey, OP tricky. Spike. The good thing about this trick is when you do it, just as the barriers are going down, the enemies won't be in hookah already. So you don't have to check that. Just push mid and make a nice kill. And a quick one. Also, I did not expect Kildra over here. What was that? And we got him. No, that was a little bit more to the right. Yeah, suddenly we lost a lot of rounds back to back and it ended up in overtime. And sadly, we also lost the first round of the overtime. Oh my god. One enemy remaining. Nice. Then we won the round again, and in the last round of the game I used the fast rotate teleport again. One teleporter in Cubby and one teleporter in Lamps. Very good. Spike B, down B. Now I realized the spike was on B, so I rotated all the way back to B. But it took a while before the enemy pushed, and then I realized, oh wait, they're on A. So I went to A and instantly, and easy peasy kills. No, 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 no. There they are. Is it A? One enemy remains. Yep, spike here, spike here. Hi, right, good game, boy. Good game. Let's see what rank did we get. We got three, 33 kills. Okay, and we got gold, gold two, gold, gold two. It's, a, it's a, okay, it's decent. Hey, we got gold two. Very nice. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I see you guys in the next one. Peace.